if you looked at the network newsrooms or the Times or the Post, and you could glean the preferences of reporters with Juliana, oh. and I can glean that 95% plus want Trump to lose, and they don't just feel casually about it, they feel strongly about it. Do you agree with that? I mean, in terms of the way newsrooms vote, um, ab absolutely. I mean, I can remember, this is just an anecdote to illustrate your, your point, is um, at one of those bring your children to work days uh, when I was still editor of the Times, it was a presidential election year and we had a mock debate and I invited, it was long enough ago that Elliot Spitzer played, I think Al Gore and Larry Kudlow played the Republican. And I was nervous because I had asked the kids, I said, I'm gonna let you vote at the end of the debate. And I was petrified that there would not be a single Republican vote. And in fact, there was one, one, one kid voted for Larry Kudlow. But, you know, it's, it's it, I mean, I don't know how many, you know, Republicans there are in the New York Times newsroom. If there are any, I know when I was there, I never met one. And that's just the truth. But it didn't. Right. I was friends with uh, one New York Times journalist who was a libertarian, but uh, probably there weren't, aren't any Republicans in the New York Times newsroom when Trump won. Right. Many New York Times journalists were crying. Right. It was a major trauma for much of the New York Times newsroom that Trump won the election.